Hello Aquarius, it is the Sun Sage back to do another February reading for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a love reading and can resonate if you are single or if you are connected to someone. Um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. And I want to see what is going on for you guys in your love life, especially since we're so close to Valentine's Day, whether you celebrate or not. I just want to see what's going on with this love energy in the air. All right, and where you fall, where you fit in to this. All right, so what's going on, going on with Aquarius in love? Okay, I have friendship. All right, what else do I have for Aquarius in love? I have differences. All right, um, I have forgiveness. This is actually really nice because the main energy that I'm picking up is there's someone here that really wants to be in your life. And I feel like you want to be in this person's life too. Um, and I have codependency. Yeah, they really want to be in your life. Okay. So I feel like what's happening now is you guys are going through something with this person where you're trying to help them understand your boundaries, right? Um, some of you, um, are, are new in this connection and you want to build a friendship first, right? You've been spending a lot of time with them where they want to spend more time with you and you're down, but you do want to make sure that it's done um, at your pace or in moderation, right? So I feel like there's a friendship developing into something more here, but you guys kind of have like your yield sign, like let's slow down a little bit, right? Um, I also feel like with differences showing up, this is representing that you and this person are very different in a lot of ways, how you express feelings, how you communicate. And so you're learning this person and it hasn't been all easy. It hasn't been as smooth as some of you would have liked it to be. But this is somebody that I also feel like you guys are learning from these differences that you're dealing with this person. Um, as, as you deal with them, you're learning how to um, you know, you're learning what their their boundaries are. They're learning what your boundaries are. You may be coming back together with someone. There feels like there's a reconciliation in the air with this forgiveness here and codependency, right? So I do feel like, um, you know, the person that you are connected to Aquarius, or if you're connected to an Aquarius, there may have been some energy where somebody was getting too codependent, right? Wanting to see you every day, expecting to hear from you every day. And you guys may just be like at the beginning stages of this. And so those that's that's too much expectation for someone. Right. But I do feel like there's this friendship developing into something very strong here. I'm going to grab some tarot messages to clarify these. What do I have with friendship? for Aquarius. What I have with friendship? Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. So there's somebody here. Um, uh, some of you Aquarius will have um, known this person for a very long time, right? You guys may have gone to school together. You may have grown up together, but there's something here that's worth being invested in. Um, there's someone here that truly cares about you. And I feel like they're making it clear to you that they want more than a friendship. They want to build with you, right? They already know that, you know, you're a good person. They already know that you're loyal they feel like you have all the qualities of somebody that would be in a, that would be good in a relationship so this ten of pentacles looks like i'm starting to see aquarius a little bit differently right i'm starting to see aquarius as somebody that i could marry somebody that i could have a family with or i'm starting to see aquarius as somebody that i could introduce to my family things like that so this person wants more than just friendship with you um they may be too shy to say that and communicate that and so sometimes their communication comes out really frustrating. I did have the hermit at the bottom. So this person may sometimes disappear and you don't know why. I feel like it's because of this, the king of cups. This person has far more feelings for you than you know. Okay. So why do we have differences here between Aquarius and the person they could be connected to? Scorpio, Virgo energy, two of wands. Okay. Differences, the two of wands, right? Um, this can sometimes be about feeling pulled in two different directions. Sometimes, um, you know, looking at how far you've come and pausing for a moment just to make sure you're on the right path and to figure out what path to go next if you feel like you are not. So I feel like in the context of this connection, I feel like you're dealing with someone, Aquarius, or you are going to be dealing with someone. I got the two of pentacles, more duality at the bottom of the deck who um, wants a future with you, right? But if we can't figure out our differences now, right, how can we possibly make this a real life thing? So this person wants more than friendship, especially if they're earth sign. Okay. 
Um, if they're earth or a water sign, I feel like they're making it very clear. If they're a fire sign that you're connected to, this person is a little bit more indecisive, Aquarius, but I still feel like they want that future with you. They just may not be willing to give up the single life or willing to make a sacrifice right now. Why do we have forgiveness? Okay, what was this? It's death, okay? Put it into some of the things that was keeping you guys apart, putting it into those things that were keeping this connection from flourishing. You're connected to somebody who sees you as a wish, as a dream come true, Aquarius, a wish fulfillment. Um, this is exactly the person that I've always wanted, right? One minute they looked up and you were more than a friend to them. You were somebody they could rely on, somebody they they found love with. And so I feel like this person is definitely somebody that um, sees you as someone worth investing Investing in, and they want to know if you see them the same way. Even though you guys have these differences here um, with the two of wands, I feel like both of you may want different things, but there are things that you agree on, like forgiving each other um, after a breakup or after not seeing each other for some time, right? If you're going to start fresh, if you're going to have a new beginning with this death energy, you have to end something first, put something to rest. So this person is ready to put to rest a feud or something that was keeping you guys apart heart so that they can get closer to you codependency because this is what i feel like they just always want to be close to you they want to be up under you aquarius this person really loves you and you guys could have a really good friendship with somebody you also have a relation a romantic relationship with okay that is here there's a marriage here for some of you and this person um, has been in your life for a long time. There's a lot of trust here. There's a lot of um, shared experiences here. But recently, there may have been some challenges keeping you guys apart, keeping you guys from listening to, to each other with differences. Um, you wanted different things and neither of you could compromise. So there has to be some forgiveness. Why is codependency here? Um, yeah, that King of Wands energy. So um, the King of Wands is telling me with codependency that this person, you're kind of like the life source for this person. Um, that's why they hold on so tightly to this connection. They truly do want to stay in your life. I'm saying be in your life, uh, you know, a couple of times, but they want to stay in your life because I feel like they're already here, right? I feel like they want to um, stay in your life for those of you that are headed to a reconciliation. They are coming back to be back in your life um, permanently. They are tired of the back and forth. They want to be back with you. They see that there can be something serious here. Um, so I feel like there's a reconciliation coming in from someone that you've had differences with. They do want to put the past behind them with death. They do want to reconcile. They do want you to trust them again. They do want your love again. I feel like this person is open to a new beginning with you, Aquarius. Um, we have Leo energy here too, Scorpio again. Um, um, so yeah, let's see what um, messages come through with um, the messages here. Let's see what else we have for Aquarius, month of February. Okay, let's see what fell. All right, so yeah, I do it for us. All right, and then these fall out as well. I'm disappointed how things are between us and we will be together soon. So clearly there is some sort of separation, some sort of rift right now. It hasn't made this person hate you. It hasn't made them fall out of love with you. If anything, it has only proven to them how strong the love they have for you is, right? So whatever the work they're doing on themselves, Aquarius, they're doing it for you guys. They feel like they're doing this for you as a unit, for you and them as a unit so that you guys can have a better relationship in the future. They are not happy. Okay, at this separation, for those of you separated, they are not happy that you guys cannot agree on things for those of you in that connection. Um, and they are not happy with just a friendship for those of you that resonate with that. This is all about you guys having an apart, having a partner, Aquarius, that wants more with you, that wants better for this connection. All right. They want better for this connection and we will be together soon. So that's that reconciliation coming through, showing up very strongly still. They feel like you will be together soon. Um, you make them feel like the luckiest person in the world. They may have gotten a little bit codependent on your energy. They may have started to rely on you for attention here. You may have made them feel very fortunate to have you in their life. So if you're separated or if you're at odds, it can be really rough on this person who has gotten so used to you and so used to your energy. So I do feel like there's a reconciliation coming in for you guys. 
for um, Valentine's Day for a lot of you, but for the month of February, before it concludes, there's um, some new energy coming in from this person that you may have had a, a brief ending with. Okay. So that is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box.